Hey y'all, Olivia Hermosa from TikTok. If you like those true crimes and verified stories, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button to Petty Tupac TV. He beat a young man to death, cut off his head, and then made a home movie while removing the brain. Those are the charges against 16-year-old Federico Kiko Cruz, a high school dropout with a long juvenile record, arrested and charged with open murder. I don't know if I'd call it ritualistic or uh, satanic at this stage of the game, but, uh, but it was bizarre to say the least. Nearly three decades after he killed and decapitated a teen near Sparta, convicted killer Frederico Cruz on Friday made a tearful apology before having his life sentence reduced to a term of years. Kent County Judge Mark Trusak called the 1996 crime horrible but noted that Cruz, now 44, has made strides while in prison and merits a term of years rather than life in prison. Cruz will return to court for sentencing in mid-August. The maximum term he can get is between 40 and 60 years. Cruz will be credited for the time he has already spent behind bars. This is clearly one of the worst homicides I ever had to deal with, Trusak said. Nothing that Cruz also attempted to cut out the victim's heart and spine. Several witnesses testified on Thursday in Trusak's 11th floor courtroom. The resentencing hearing resumed Friday and Cruz taking the stand. Prosecutor Chris Backer argued for a life without parole sentence rather than a term of years, given the gruesome nature of the crime. It is deheartening for the family, Becker said. The court ruling that led to such resentencing really disregarded the feelings of the victims or the thoughts of the victims. It's all about the defendants and focusing on them. The defense team representing Cruz contends he has made strides to redeem himself and should not die behind bars. Eight defense uh, witnesses were called to testify. After a brief recess, Trusak made his ruling. He noted several ways Cruz has tried to improve himself while in prison, including education and vocational training and participation in several community-based programs. He has clearly turned himself around in prison, Trusak said. There's no question in my mind that the defendant was immature at the time, and I believe that he was suffering a mental illness at the time. The April 1996 crime garnered national headlines. Cruz was 16 when he killed 17-year-old David Crawford, cut off the victim's head, took it home, and mutilated it. Cruz struck up a conversation with Crawford, who was walking beside railroad tracks outside of Spartan in northern Kent County. He fatally beat Crawford and eventually cut off Crawford's head, taking it home as a souvenir. Cruz made a videotape of himself talking to the severed head, which he called Eddie. At the resentencing hearing in 2018, Cruz again sentenced to life in prison by Judge Dennis Lieber. Crawford's family told uh, News 8 that they are scared for their own lives if and when Cruz gets out. They said their son and his memory have been overshadowed by multiple resentencing hearings. And earlier hearing, Cruz said he has turned to God since entering prison as 18. Uh, I've been around Cruz. Cruz is a very positive guy. He was in a dog program, I believe. We was at the Ross or Muskegon. I, f I forget which one. I ran across, no, it was it was the Ross, and, um, you know, you just, you know, he got a, a, a rep, he, people know him from the past, and he truly has changed, but I think this is some real super diminished to be doing as a kid, the last judge that denied him, they was like, well, you had problems before, because he said that he was molested, and that's when he started acting out, but the judge, like, you was already setting house fires, you was doing everything, he was a problem child, that's, this is, what you know when you got a son let's just say you got a son right he's showing all the signs of a serial killer he wet in the bed at 12 years old he has no social uh ability he torturing animals he doing it like what would you do like i'm asking a question drop it in the comments like what would you do you you see your son doing all this therapy not helping he's setting fires he sexually acting he doing all this stuff what what could you do as a parent like would you like hey man you gotta go to group home you too dangerous to be right out here like that's crazy he took the head and was talking to it he was talking to it his daddy seen the videotape i met uh cruz before like i heard about him before i met him one of the homies uh that he rock with was telling me about him and even his homie, like, yeah, bro, changed. He ain't the same no more. He's still about that action, but he changed. He just spent all his life in prison, damn near. That's a scary 
you know, what if he revert back? What if he off his medication? Like, you, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that's scary. I ain't going to lie to you. This is not no regular crime of a drug, two drug dealers beefing or some gang banging. And I'm not saying that that's even better, but I'd rather be around some gang bangers just beefing with each other for a reason than just, you know, a guy next door to me to just strike up conversations and cut off heads. Man, peace and blessings be upon y'all. Big five. Detroit. I get a rush from catching bites. I love when I opt die. Pull up, broad day. Brrr, make his mama cry. Me and Doja took his life. Fuck him, he had to pay the price. Still in my hood. Mm -mm. Bitch, I feel like bones. Pop a perk, I'm in my zone. Bernie 